Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. And there you can attempt the quiz. This is how you can attempt the quiz. For regular updates, please join our telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. Now we have started a new channel Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. The central government is to borrow 1.10 lakh crore on the behalf of states to meet which shortfall. So it is related to GST compensation. So central government is going to borrow this money and then central government will provide this money to the states. Actually when GST was implemented, some states objected that it may lead to their loss of revenue. So the central government promised that if the revenue growth is going to be less than 14% per year, then central government will pay GST compensation in such cases. Now because of economic slowdown, this time the GST collection growth was not above 14%. So that is why there is a problem. So the states are demanding money and now central government has decided to borrow this money and decided to provide this money to the states. GST is goods and service tax. It is indirect tax. It is destination based tax. For GST we have GST council. It is headed by finance minister. When GST was implemented at that point of time, Mr. Jaitley, Arun Jaitley was the finance minister. Recently, his son Rohan Jaitley was in news as he became the president of DDCA. What is DDCA? It is Delhi and District Cricket Association. Apart from GST Council, there is GSTN, that is GST Network. So it provides the technological infrastructure for the implementation of GST. And 1st of July in 2018 was celebrated as GST Day. Next question is which institution has called for emergency financing of 25 billion US dollars to help the poorest countries to tackle the COVID-19. So this was done by World Bank. Presently the head of World Bank is David Malpass. The idea is to provide support to the poorest countries so that they can revive. Now if we talk about World Bank, IBRD and IDA form World Bank. But if we talk about World Bank Group, then we have five institutions. These are IBRD, that is International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Then we have IDA, that is International Development Association. Then we have IFC, that is International Finance Corporation. Fourth one is MIGA, that is Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency. And fifth one is ICSID, that is International Center for Settlement of investment disputes. Now please note that India is not a member of this ICS ID. India is a member of rest of these four organizations. Next question is the first phase of International Institute of Advanced Virology was recently inaugurated in which state of India. So it was inaugurated in Kerala and to be specific it was inaugurated in Thonakkal in Tiruvananthapuram in Kerala. So this is IIAV that is International Institute of Advanced Virology and Dr. Akhil Banerjee was appointed as the head of this research institute and this institute is under DST. What is DST? It is Department of Science and Technology. Next question is where is the headquarters of BARC that is Broadcast Audience Research Council. So the headquarters is in Mumbai. Mumbai is in Maharashtra. Now Recently, this BARC was in news because of TRP issue. TRP stands for television rating point. So because of manipulation of TRP, BARC decided to stop TRP monitoring three months for new channels. Now in this context of TRP manipulation, recently there was one more term and it is chapter proceeding. So chapter proceeding term was in news because Mumbai police started chapter proceedings against Republic TV Editor-in-Chief Arnab Goswami. Now what exactly is this chapter proceeding? It means these are the preventive actions. So these are preventive which are taken by the police if they fear that a particular person is likely to create a problem and the person may create a problem for the peace in the society. Next question is the Parliament of Israel has approved peace deal with which country? So this country is UAE. In this context, there is one important term and it is Abraham Accord. So recently USA played a key role in the deal of 
Israel, with UAE, and with Bahrain. It is important to note that previously Israel had already signed such deals with Egypt and with Jordan. So with Egypt it was signed in 1979 and with Jordan it was signed in 1994. Now in this context please read about Oslo Agreement. What is Oslo Agreement? What was the key objective of this agreement? UAE was also in news because of IPL. It is going on in UAE. It is a cricket tournament. Next question is Thalassemia Bal Seva Yojana is a part of the hematopoietic stem cell transplantation project. Now this project is funded by which PSU? So it is funded by Coal India. So this is for those unprivileged patients of thalassemia and this is funded through the CSR of Coal India. What is CSR? It is Corporate Social Responsibility. Now the concept of CSR is governed by Companies Act and to be specific it is governed through Clause 135 of Companies Act and this act encourages companies to spend 2% of their average net profit in the previous three years on CSR activities. So these are the social activities which are funded by the corporates and this Thalassemia Bal Seva Yojana is one such initiative which is funded by the Coal India under its CSR obligations. Next question is what is the name of scheme of culture ministry which provides grants to the cultural program with large audience. So the name of the program is Kala Sanskriti Vikas Yojana. So it is a scheme by culture ministry. Idea is to provide financial support to the cultural programs. Recently this culture ministry issued guidelines for holding events in online mode and with the help of these new guidelines the financial assistance will be provided to such artists so that they can tackle this difficult situation created because of COVID-19. So in simplest term it is a scheme that is Kala Sanskriti Vikas Yojana is a scheme of culture ministry to support the art and culture in this difficult time and show the holistic promotion of art and culture in our country. Next question is what is EWIN? So it is electronic vaccine intelligence network. So it is related to vaccination. Now this is a network which is used for immunization program. So it is a kind of digital database for the monitoring of vaccines. So it ensures real time tracking of vaccines and it provides information about their procurement, their storage, their delivery and distribution. So it is like a tracking system for our vaccines and this project that means this EWIN project is implemented under NHM. What is NHM? It is National Health Mission and this is under MOH and FW that is Ministry of Housing and Family Welfare. And for this EWIN project the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has collaborated with UNDP that is United Nations Development Program. If we talk about vaccine, the recent vaccine summit held in UK. Next question is the Susma Savaraj lectures which is introduced by the External Affairs Ministry is designed for which target section. So it is a series of lectures which was started for the foreign diplomats posted in India and it is an initiative started by MEA that is Ministry of External Affairs in and it was started in the name of former External Affairs Minister Sushma Savraj. And the inaugural session of these lectures was delivered by Harsh Vardhan Sringla. He is our Foreign Secretary. Minister of External Affairs is Ash Jayashankar and he is Rajya Sabha member from Gujarat. Recently Gujarat was in news because of India's first sea plane project. So this project will be inaugurated on 31st of October. Why 31st of October is special because it is the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel and he was the first home minister of independent India and popularly he is known as Iron Man of India. Next question is the Reserve Bank of India is going to conduct first ever OMO that is open market operations for the state development loans for what amount? So this amount is 10,000 crores. Now few important terms are OMO. What is OMO? It is open market operation that means buying and selling of government securities and for the first time RBI is going to conduct the 
OMO for the purchase of SDL. What is SDL? It is State Development Loans. The amount is going to be 10,000 crores. What exactly is State Development Loan? It means these are dated securities which are issued by the states. Now in this context, please read about guilt as securities. What is the meaning of this term dated securities? One more thing. At present, these SDL that is State Development Loans are eligible collateral for LAF. LAF stands for Liquidity Adjustment Facility. So please read about LAF and MSF. This is your homework. Next question is the India International Food and Agri Week has been launched by which ministry? So this is an initiative of Ministry of Food Processing. Present minister is Mr. Narendra Singh Toma. Previously, Hasimrat Kaur Badal was the minister. But because of the farm bills, her party broke alliance from NDA. Her party is SED that is Siromani Akali Dal. So she resigned in protest of these bills and the charge was given to Narendra Singh Tomar and recently he inaugurated this India International Food and Agri Week initiative. Apart from that, to spread awareness, an Devobhava campaign was started. So from 16th of October to 22nd of October, this India International Food and Agri Week will be celebrated. Apart from that, from 15th of October to 23rd of October, Intellectual Property Literacy Week will be celebrated. In this context of intellectual property recently, Kapila initiative was started and it was launched on the occasion of birth anniversary of our former president Dr. Kalam. So it started from 15th of October. On the other hand, 14th of October was International E-Waste Day. Next question is what is the name of mobile application launched by Leather Sector Skill Council? So the name of this application is Scale India. It has been launched by Leather Sector Skill Council and this application was launched by Mahindranath Pandey. He is the Union Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Apart from this Scale India app recently, My Prayer app was also in news and this has been launched for Sri Mata Vaishno Devi Temple and this app has been backed by SDFC Bank. So these were the most important questions of today's video. Now we are going to cover important news. Feel free to skip it at your own risk but make sure that you cover these topics from some other shows. So first news is related to Pradeep Ghosh. He was well known Bengali artist and he passed away recently. Next is Skull International Asia Area. So Jammu and Kashmir is going to host this Skull International Asia Area in 2021. And this is a organization of tourism leaders. So the Congress that means the meeting of this organization is going to be in Jammu and Kashmir in 2021. Next is Earth Short Prize. So recently Prince William launched this Earth Short Prize and this prize has been launched and it will be given to those who are going to provide solutions for our environmental problems and for our and for solving our climate issues. So this is related to environment and climate change and this has been launched by Prince William. Next is Global Hunger Index 2020. So it is index which is jointly published by Concern Worldwide and by Welt Hunger Life. So this Welt Hunger Life is from Germany and this Concern Worldwide is from Ireland. So these two organizations play a key role in this Global Hunger Index. Now as per this index, India is on 90 fourth position out of 107 countries. There are four major components of this global hunger index. These are child stunting, child wasting, child mortality rate and fourth one is under nourishment. So these are the four indicators. It is important to note that last year India was on 102nd position and this time we are on 94th position. So as you can see out of 107 countries we are on 90 fourth position that means only few countries are behind us so we need to be serious about it and we need to focus on this aspect because a hungry India can never be a global superpower so we need to take it seriously. Next is Buldana pattern so this Buldana district is in Maharashtra and recently this term Buldana pattern was in use because of water conservation efforts so in this pattern the highway construction 
and water conservation are synchronized. And this was quite successful in Maharashtra and that is why Niti Aayog is working on a national strategy for such water conservation efforts. So this Buldhana pattern is related to water conservation. It is a district in Maharashtra. Next is adopt an animal scheme. So this is a scheme related to Nandan Kanan Geological Park and this geological park is in Odisha. So under this scheme, the idea is to mobilize resources for animals. So you can adopt any animal and this way you can provide financial assistance to this Nandan Kanan Geological Park in Odisha. Next is stacked odds. So recently United Nations released this report and the title is stacked odds and this report was released on the occasion of International Day of Girl Child and as per this report one in every 130 females globally is living in modern slavery. So this is a report by United Nations. Next is campaign against encrypted social media messages. So these social media companies use end-to-end -end encryption and that is why the governments of different countries started a campaign against this end-to-end -end encryption. Why they are starting this campaign? They are saying that means the governments of different countries are saying that because of this end-to-end -end encryption, law enforcement agencies cannot take action against illegal activities. Why? Because they are not able to decrypt these messages. So that is why this campaign has been started against encrypted social media messages. And this is a campaign which has been led by UK. Recently, India also joined this campaign. Next is aquaponic cultivation. So recently CDAC Mohali has developed new technology for this aquaponic cultivation of plants. Now what is the meaning of this term aquaponic? It means it is a technique where fish plus plants are growing together. So these to complement each other and provide support to each other. So the fish waste will provide organic food to the plants and the plants naturally filter the water which is used to replenish the fish tank. Next is India's first pediatric kidney swab transplantation. So this was done in BMC run KEM hospital in Maharashtra. Now what is the meaning of this term swab transplantation? See, suppose there are two families. One is family one, another is family two. Now in family one, the F11 member want to give kidney to F12, but the problem is that it is not matching. Similarly, in family 2, F21 want to give kidney to F22. Here also the problem is that it is not matching. That means it is not matching with the donor. So there is a problem of mismatch between the donor and recipient. So what they are going to do? This person will give kidney to this person and this will give to this person. So this is swap transplantation. So it is for those families who do not have matching donors in their own family. It is also known as pool transplant or paired exchange. Next is related to CRPF. So recently CRPF was in news that is Central Reserve Police Force was in news as it has collaborated with IIT Delhi and with DRDO and with JATC. What is JATC? It is Joint Advanced Technology Center. So why it has collaborated with these organizations. It has collaborated with these organizations to support its research and development capacities. Next is related to Bangladesh. So next year, Bangladesh is going to celebrate its 50th year of independence and that is why it has invited Indian Prime Minister. It is going to celebrate its 50th year of independence on 26th of March. Next is Denmark Open Title. So in female category of this badminton tournament, Nozomi Okuhara won the title while in male category Andres Antonsen won the tournament. This is related to badminton and she was winner in women's single title and he was winner in men's single title. Next is solidarity trial. So it is related to trial of vaccine in the context of COVID-19 and it is related to WHO. Apart from this trial, few other terms are related. One is faith trial. Faith trial is led by Glenmark and this recovery trial is led by UK. So all three are related to COVID-19. Next is global tuberculosis report. So this report was recently released by WHO 
that is World Health Organization, tuberculosis is a bacterial disease and it is because of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Next is Nirbad Initiatives. So under these Nirbad Initiatives, EPFO that is Employees Provident Fund Organization is providing WhatsApp based support to ensure seamless service delivery in this pandemic situation. EPFO is Employees Provident Fund Organization. Next is MACS 6478. So this is a variety of wheat and recently it was in news because this variety is helping the farmers in Maharashtra to double their crop yield. Next is Baba Banda Singh Bahadur. So recently Prime Minister paid tribute to Baba Banda Singh Bahadur on his 350th Jayanti. He was well known Sikh warrior and he was a commander of Khalsa army. Next is related to Tanishq. So it was in news because of recent ad controversy. It is a jewelry brand and it is a division of Titan and Titan is a company of Tata group. Now the headquarters of Tanisk is in Bengaluru in Karnataka and this Tanisk is promoted by Tata group in collaboration with TIDCO. This is important. TIDCO stands for Tamil Nadu Industrial Development Corporation. Next is Mr. Prime Minister V. Strength the Dragon. So this is a book which is by Pradeep. Gora. Next is Flipkart. So recently it was in news because Jammu and Kashmir administration has collaborated with Flipkart to support the weavers and artisans so that their products can be sold across the globe. Next is Moopay. So it is a new platform which has been developed for dairy farmers. And recently this initiative was launched in Rajasthan and this has been launched by Stalaps. So the name of initiative is Moopay. Company is Stalaps. It has been launched in Rajasthan. It has been launched for dairy farmers and it is a direct payment platform. Next is Y20 Global Summit. So it is a summit of ministers of youth affairs and sports of G20 countries. For this year, Saudi Arabia is the head of G20 group. So this Y20 Global Summit was also hosted by Saudi Arabia. From Indian side, our minister of youth affairs, Kiran Rizuzu participated in this event. Next is Aishwarya Sridhar. So recently Aishwarya Sridhar won the award in photography and Aishwarya Sridhar became the first Indian to win the Wildlife Photographer of the Year award. So the award is Wildlife Photographer of Year award and the name of image is Light of Passion. So these were the most important events. Thank you and that's all for the day.